we have the terms and in here we, I would like to have the due date. So I'm going to put due date here. I have a data validation that was left from the previous merged cells that we had here. We go to data and in data validation, I could do clear all, or I also can come here and say any value. So now I delete it. There's no data validation working here anymore. And let's look at our terms and see how I can decide on the due date. So the terms that we have, let's look into the clients. They are always net space and then the number of days that the person is allowed to wait until giving, sending us payment or it says due upon receipt. I'm going to copy this expression here, control C, escape. And I'm going to first Instead of the due date, I'm going to determine the number of days that this represents for the time that the person has to pay us. So I'm going to say, if these terms here are equal to open double quotes, due upon receipt, close double quotes, then the number of days is zero. Otherwise, let's just click here for now. Otherwise, give me that. Because this is set up as text, it put me the formula there. So let's just put that as general. Okay. So it gave me that. What I wanted it to do is this portion, instead of saying net 30, I want it to give me just the 30. Okay. I'm going to do that formula separate here. I want to extract the numbers that are after the space. I can do this in two ways. I can do replace, uh, substitute net space with the portion that says net space with nothing, or I can search for the space and say, give me the right portion that is after. Both are good. I'm going to use the substitute. And I'm going to say substitute in this text, H8, and I'm going to block that cell. In the old text would be net space. So if you find net space, then substitute that with empty string, nothing. Okay, and the last parameter instance, instance number, we don't need that, is optional, is if we want to start other than from the beginning. So there we have, we have the 30 there, but if you see, it's aligned to the left. So this is not really a number, this is a text with the two characters, three zero. If I want to make this a number, I can use another formula called value and close parentheses. Now this is a number and it's the way I know it is that now it changed to the right. So now I can copy all this formula, control C, and I can come here to the due date and say, if what we have here in H8 is due upon receipt, then the value is zero. Otherwise, replace this by the formula. Okay, there we go. And we are almost there. The due date is 30 days after the date of the invoice. So what I have to do is say this number of days, or I like to put it at the beginning, it's the same thing. The date of the invoice plus the number of days. So now I have the due date calculated 30 days after January 23rd, because January has 31 days, it will be February 22nd.